Hey guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. My name's Farron, and today I'm going to review this Wavelink AC1200. This is the, the Greenwood 51200G. You know, it's camouflaged. And it's dual band, so it'll work on the 2.4 or the 5G network. It's waterproof. And operations, you know, you, you can either hook up to a mesh mode or router mode AP access point mode or repeater mode slash extender mode and it comes with uh, of course the unit um, comes with two 2.4G antennas and two 5G antennas and one RJ45 network cable um, one power adapter one POE converter and one main body holder, you know, to hold the unit in case you want to mount on the side of the building or, or whatnot. Um, comes with two cable ties in case you want to stick it like on a ram on a pipe, you could zip tie it together. Comes with two brackets and screw fitting kit and of course a quick start guide. So let's go ahead and get inside this and I'll show you what's inside the box. Okay, there it all is. Comes with a zip tie and of course the unit here. It's already got the uh, bracket on it. I mean, you could take that. This, this bracket here is to uh, mount it on the side of the building or on a wooden post, whatnot. But if you're gonna mount it, let's say on a piece of pipe, and you put the zip ties through that slot right there and that'll strap it on, on the pipe comes with a quick start guide with the antennas the 2.4 and the 5 and the braces comes with the screws the PoE adapter power supply and Ethernet cable you on here they tell you what goes where it's 5g 2.4G, 5G, 2.4G, and these are the rubber washers here to help it to be waterproof. And they're also marked on the antennas what's what. That's 5G. There you go, all put together. Now I'm gonna head in the house here and and get this unit all configured. Okay, I'm in the in the house now. I got the Ethernet cable plugged into the back of the computer, and it's hooked into the LAN side of the unit. Let's see if I flip this over so you can see it there. It says LAN, and the other one is PoE in which is connected to that adapter which in turn is connected to the power source in order to power up the unit. I direct connect it to the computer because I find it easier um, to configure it this way. Okay, now you get on your computer here, you get on your browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge. So 
so which will it will be your default password you could change it later admin and log in and you got to fill all this out and here you could change your password Okay, now you go ahead and hit next. And here, you wanna change the name of the network here that matches the net, your main network that you use in your house from your router. The same thing with the password. Password all has to match. Based on my experience, it seems to work at its best when you have the same network name throughout your Wi-Fi system and also matching your password throughout the Wi-Fi system. It seems to work at its best that way. Okay, I just sit back and while you wait for it to save your new configuration of your passwords. And you go ahead and hit refresh. Okay, now you just go ahead and log in to your new admin password in order to get into your unit. Okay, once you're in, by default, it's in AP mode. And as you see, there's the new network name for this device. So in order to change this, you're going to advance mode selection. That's the current mode, but I'm going to test this in repeater mode. So the test I'm going to do, I'm going to do repeater first, and then I'm going to come back and reconfigure it and, and just change the, go, go into the mode selection and then change it to, back to AP mode. But right now I'm going to do repeater mode. And you hit next. Right now it's searching for some Wi-Fi connection. And those are all my connections there. I'm going to choose this one here. Hit next. And here you could here you enter the password of your main network you could change the name of this if you want security this is the password which is in order to get the 2.4 g which for me it's going to be the same as this top one and the 5g be the same so all, all these passwords i'm put in will all be the same to my main network so you just go ahead and and enter all those passwords.
now it's saving the, the configuration. You just go ahead and hit refresh. And once again, to get back into it, you put in your password here. As you can see, right now it's in repeater mode. And it's all connected. Okay, well, I'm going to head outside and, and test this unit in various distance. There you go. I have the uh, wavelength on that post. That's a good 12 feet up in the air. And I'm going to test this in AP mode, access point, which I have a Cat 6 cable running into my house to my router. That's all you need. It's, you just hook it to the PoE on the wavelength and use that adapter. And I'll show you right here how I have the adapter hooked up right here. Okay, let's go get this tested. I'm going to test it in 30 meters, 50 meters, 100 meters, and 150 meters. That's about 98 feet, 164 feet, 328 feet, 492 feet. And then I'll do my 1,000 foot test. 30 meters away, that's about 98 feet. So I'll go ahead and test it here. And that's pretty good. Way over 300 megabytes. That's pretty good. And see what the um, upstream is. That's okay. I was kind of hoping a little more on that, but that'll work. That'll still get my cameras working out here pretty good. There you go. 434 download, 21.9 upload. Okay, now I moved up to the next spot. This is 50 meters away from that wavelength device. It's about 164 feet. So let's give this a test. Well, that's doing pretty good 403 download speed that's excellent and about 23 upload yep that'll work now we're at 100 meters away that's about 328 feet so let's give this a test Looks like that's doing really good. Almost 300 download speeds. It's 290. Okay, the upload speed's 23. That's excellent. Okay, on to the next spot. All right, now I'm about 150 meters away. That's about 492 feet. So let's give this a test. Okay, well it's still good. Go, go to over 100. About 113 download speed. Okay.
24 upload and it'll still work excellent for the cameras I want to put out here in the back so-called back 40. Okay now I'm a thousand feet away you can barely see the tops of the shelters down there it'd be interesting to see if that wavelength could reach this far because it's got to come up this hill. Well, let's give it a test and see what happens. Okay, I got over a hundred. It's not bad. See what the upload. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to put some cameras way out here, a thousand feet away. Hey guys, I'm I'm back in the greenhouse now. That thousand feet test turned out all right. I, I could get cameras out there. I went another hundred feet and uh, lost signal. Uh, I suppose the way my land is, it goes kind of like a hill and then it dies back down. So I was on the back side of that hill and I lost the signal there. But a thousand feet is pretty good. So I definitely could put some cameras out there. And I could also put some cameras inside the greenhouse. And as you can see, I do have one up there in the corner. So this worked really good. Fast, fast speed. And just so you know, it was, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, it was all on 5G network. So I would have to say that thousand foot worked pretty well on that 5G using this wavelength to, to get that signal out there. So I would definitely recommend this wavelength. This is wavelength AC 1200 Greenwood 5. So that's, camouflaged <laughs> so that, uh, being this camouflage looking like that you, you know it'll kind of hide it a little bit it doesn't stand out like like the other versions they have where it's just white so yeah I would definitely uh, recommend this product and I'll have a link down below for it so you could uh, go and check it out for yourself and see if it's something that you might like to have in your Wi-Fi system so anyhow Thanks for um, stopping by and checking out this review, and, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.